Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 41 verse 10. Life often brings moments of uncertainty, fear, and dismay. In these moments, it's easy to feel alone and overwhelmed, almost as if we are buried under the rubbles of life. The verse in Isaiah 41 verse 10 stands as a pillar of strength and an anchor of safety. It is not merely a comforting verse, it is a powerful promise from God himself spoken directly to his people. God starts by addressing our deepest fears. Fear not, for I am with you. The command not to fear is not based on our ability to overcome challenges or to not be afraid, but to rest on God's unchanging presence with us. The creator of the universe, the one who holds all things together, is with you. He is above all that frightens us. Jeremiah 32 verse 17 says, Ah, Sovereign Lord, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arm. Nothing is too hard for you. He continues, Be not dismayed, for I am your God. To be dismayed is to be distressed, to lose courage. God reminds us that he is not just any God, but our God, a personal, relational God who is deeply invested in our lives. When he declares that he is our God, he affirms his commitment to us, assuring us that his power and protection are ours. Jeremiah 31 verse 3 tells us, The Lord hath appeared of old unto me, saying, Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. The verse further reassures us, I will strengthen you, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Notice the certainty in these words. God doesn't say he might help or that he could strengthen. He will. This is a definite promise. His strength is imparted to us in the measure we need. His arms are outstretched to become our help. And when we feel like we can't stand on our own, he upholds us with his righteous right hand, a symbol of his authority, power and justice. Thus we can repeat the words of Psalm 46 verses 1 to 3. God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth give way, and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, and the mountains quake with their surging. In your moments of fear or dismay, take time to meditate on this verse. Speak it over your life, your situation, and your heart. Remember that God's promises are certain and unchanging. He is with you in every season, every challenge and every victory. Let this truth guide your thoughts and actions today. When you feel weak, rely on his strength. When you need help, call upon him. When you are unsure if you can continue, remember that he upholds you with his righteous right hand. This promise is not just for others, it is for you, today, tomorrow, and always. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your unchanging promise to be with us. You are a God whose words are as unchanging as your character, but unless we accept them and live by them, we render them powerless. Today, God, we come before you with grateful hearts, thanking you for the solid comfort, power, and victory that we have in your words. 
We strive, almighty God, to operate without fear, but there are days when we war with ourselves, trying to find a footing of quiet strength. Father, we ask that in these moments of fear and uncertainty, you will remind us of your presence. Help us to trust in your strength and to rely on your help. We want you to be the source of our help, the center of our refuge. We look to you, Lord God, because our help comes from you and you alone. You are worthy, Lord God, to receive glory and honor and power. And there is none like you and none to stand above you. Uphold us today with your righteous right hand and guide us through every challenge. Today, we choose to place our hope and confidence in you, knowing that you are faithful and true to your word. We choose to walk without fear because we are sheltered by your presence and we claim victory because we are guided by your right hand. Thank you, Lord, for a fearless day. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. In Jesus' name, amen.